What's up, cooks? I'm on a mission to get some soft white wheat for my grain mill. Now, I don't know about you, but wheat berries are not just available at my local grocery store. You have to be really creative um, to find a source for it. I usually can get it at an Amish store. So we're headed up to one. Um, I've never been there before, so we're gonna check it out and see if it's available. We are on a mission, soft white wheat berries. Let's go. So we just got here and I'm sitting out on some rocking chairs. <laughs> you know we gotta be near an Amish market when you got all these Amish garages and sheds and stuff, right? I mean, just look at these things. They're pretty cool, right? We're at the Pennsylvania Dutch Market, which is kind of a small one if you look at it because it's nowhere near as big as the one in Annapolis, Maryland. We're in Hagerstown today, so let's check out this one. And from this vantage point, I can see someone in there making, baking something, making some homemade pizzas. I don't know what those are. I think we're in for a treat. We have a bunch of birdhouses up here. <laughs> Little birdies. There's a swing down there that I want. <laughs> Eric would kill me if I bought one of those. Oh, look at the little cow in the dock. That would be cute for Eric's garden. Oh wait, those are mailboxes. <laughs> I don't know. Another key feature of these Amish markets is the craftsmanship of the things that they make by hands. So they got all these animals, right? Amy bought, almost bought me a duck. I thought it was gonna be a real duck. Look at that cardinal and that blue jay little bird houses. I could definitely use one of those, right? So these are kind of cool. Over here, we've got patio stuff and just more outdoor gear. So it's pretty cool. This chair is looking pretty inviting, so I just might have to uh, partake in it, right? Amy's panicking. This whole store only has one basket left. So I guess I gotta go get it, right? Before somebody else takes it. Wah. More outdoor patio sets. Hmm. Really look inviting. They got pizza. They got watermelons. They got corn. They got more corn. They got just different produce. So a lot of times with the way these things work is a family might have one item. So maybe the produce is run by one family, but then dairy, ice cream might be another family. And then maybe the pizza place is another family. So it really depends on how they uh, chunk up the business and these things. You got a deli in the background over there. Yum, yum. You got some, you got some candy apples and stuff. Look how yum, yum that looks. And then they got candies and stuff. Yay. This is the Hagerstown Dutch Bakery. You know we're going there, right? So they got homemade fudge. Might have to depart with some of this stuff. This is some of the deli. Deli's looking kind of tasty. All right, we're in the bakery. That means they've got breads. <coughs> yum, yum. More stuff. And they got more. Amy paused by this stuff, so maybe, maybe, uh. Did these have dairy? I remember one time we were at some. Yeah, we'll be paused. Place and they didn't have dairy. Oh, I don't know. You can ask. Worst case, I can still get one. It's just I eat it and you don't. So, we got plenty of baked goods to choose from, right? Yum, yum. I don't know if Domish are known for making bagels, but they made some. I'm looking for the sticky buns. The sticky buns are usually tasty. So, some more bread. Yay. Yum, yum. More bread. Baby bread. This whole thing is just nothing but bread. But look what I see. We got pies. And more pies. And more pies. Got little baby pies. Wah, wah. 
Cherry, blueberry, peach. Got a little uh, caramel, apple, a little apple crisp. They even sell half pies. And then they sell full pies. And they got all this yum yum stuff over here. So this is the bakery where they actually make stuff. Amy's gonna go off to the other part where you buy bulk goods so you can make your own goodies. I got news for you, boo. If you head behind me, there's plenty of pies. If you want a whole pie, they got half pies. If the half pie's too big, they got quarter pies. They got a pie in every size. Somehow, she's ended up with a bagel and some little baby breads. So those look tasty. I'm spying some snickerdoodles. But I think Boo Boo can make some better than that though. So they do got a uh, cha-ching machine. Some places only take cash. You can see the whole bakery back here. Yeah. Look how big this uh, area is. They got the ovens, multiple ovens, all the speed racks, just full of stuff, ovens in the back. This is the donut area, possibly a different family. Donuts. More donuts. And then they've got their little production area in the back there. Ovens, just crazy. That looks like a big old cast iron something. I don't know what it is, but it's got gears. Uh, big old handle. That looks uh, pretty crazy. And you just look at the bakery. Look how big it is. I know you can't see that menu very well, but it's called Mandy Soft Pretzels, and it's got all kinds of pretzel stuff. The line is pretty long. They got pictures of their pretzels. And down here, what they look like. They got more down there. More here. Over here. This lady's making some pretzels, so she's got kind of dough. She's got the stuff there. She's rolling it out. Doing more. That's pretty cool. We're in the candy shop and bulk food, and I'm just gonna do a little high level here. They got honey and stuff, yay. They got stuff. More stuff. More stuff. But if you look at this angle, you'll see it's not that big. They have an aisle over here of candy, and there's more candy which is good if you want to bake and make candy. You got some retail candy and stuff here. All right, when you look at this corner here of the bulk stuff, this is where the baking stuff is. So you've got the different flours and stuff that you can make bread and stuff out of. And then they got some other stuff. Got some potato chips over there. So it's bulk candy and bulk stuff. Sorghum flour, brown rice flour, cornmeal, tapioca, all-purpose baking flour, polenta, cake stuff. You got some chocolate, I think. All kinds of goodies there. But it's not like some of the other ones where they actually sell 50 pounds sacks of flour or whatever, or 25 pounds of sacks. This doesn't have it. So this is kind of a bust if you're looking here to buy some inexpensive uh, bulk baking stuff. So I think we're on our way to another Amish market that does. But this was nice, we got some food, yay. So Cooks, that was a bust, right? It wasn't a bust in terms of, I didn't have a good time going there because it was filled with amazing baked goods and candy store and fried chicken and barbecue and it was just like Disneyland up in there, right? But I was hoping that it was similar to their sister store that happens to be farther away from us. And a lot bigger. And a lot bigger, but they just didn't have the bulk foods that they have at the other store. So we are on still a mission to find us some soft white wheat berries for our grain mill. We're headed off to another store. I know this store has there because I've been there before. I just kind of wanted to check out that other store because I had never been there. But we had fun, but it kind of failed me on my mission. So 
We're headed off to store number two. Let's go. I tried to get a picture of the scenery, but I failed. We came over a mountain and missed it. Completely missed it. Yeah, a meadow. I'm sure there's a bunch of ticks you can take pictures of. I was trying to see the well, you, got more, you got more scenery coming up. Probably straight ahead to the left. Look at that smoky mountain. <laughs> these look familiar. Every Amish store we go to has these for donuts. Hi, honey. Yeah, look at all this. Wow. We have honey and more honey. And more honey over there. Ooh. So they got more um, honey down here, right? This is Gunter's, which is locally grown, locally produced, whatever you want to call it. And here you can buy it by the gallon. Literally, it's like for 50 bucks. Down here, they got some maple syrup, which I didn't know, but it is. Some honey. Yeah. Black strap molasses. Yum. So the bottom line is. It's more of a market here, so it is Amish, but it's also just a market. So they got a ton of yum yum stuff. Back here, they just got kitchen gadgets, right? You got bowls, cupcake, the muffin pans and stuff. Yeehaw. Got some rolling pins, yay. Yay, a bunch of food coloring and flavorings and stuff. Oops, it's not food colorings, that's just flavorings. Yeah. Oh. They got a petting zoo out back. So you can buy some feed here and then go, uh, you can go ahead and uh, pet the zoo, right? So, yeehaw. They have a ton of bulk baking stuff, right? So, I know, instant butterscotch pudding, yum yum, right? Some coconut, some blackberry pie filling, yeehaw, right? You just have, a ton of stuff. Here, here. Uh, more coconut stuff down there. But here's a ton of stuff for like real baking, right? You got vanilla extracts and stuff, more extracts. 
natural orange flavor, pure lemon, all kinds of good stuff. Here's some sanding sugar in different colors. Really pretty, right? You got cinnamon and cinnamon sticks. It's incredible what they got. You can just go goofy in a place like this. Look at all this stuff. Woohoo! You got kosher salts. Just... Liquid smoke? That's amazing. Liquid aminos. Now you're back into my area. Candy! So, I don't know. Raspberry drops, lemon drops, cherry drops, cinnamon drops. You didn't see me grab this. Hot tamales. You didn't see me grab this. They call these cinnamon hearts. I think these are like red hots. Anything cinnamon is good, right? But then you got a ton of uh, jelly beans. So, yum yum. And of course, this is the opposite side, right? This is where you got chocolate and yogurt covered pretzels. That's all yummy. Yummy. And more chocolate. More yogurt. More yogurt. More chocolate. It's amazing. They both get along just great. Yoder's has some produce, not much. Obviously, they've got a little corn here, a few apples and oranges and stuff. Nothing really exciting. They've got a deli over there, so you can get a bunch of lunch meat and, and uh, cheese, yay. Boar's head, plus their stuff. I'll never pass one of those up. So, we got some wheat, got some flour, got some honey. Oops, wait, wait, this goes with that one too. Okay. <laughs> and this. Mission accomplished! I got what I wanted. I got the soft white wheat berries. It did take a lot of driving to do that. But, you know, it wasn't a total fail because I did want to go to that other store. I had never been there before. At least I know. I can't say that I'll never go there again because I will, right? All that fried chicken and barbecue, I'm going to be up there again, right? But I know now that if I need the wheat, I need to go to the other store. So thanks for joining me. I hope you found this fun. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you everything I got on my little Amish market adventure. And um, now I got some wheat that we can start mixing and having a little bit fun with the grain mill, right? I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for joining me.